Hi, and welcome to TV My Husband Hates. I'm Kat Sims. And I'm Regan Kempton. And we are reality TV addicts. Addicts, uh, aficionados. Ooh, I like that. Experts. Experts. Basically, we know our shit when it comes to reality TV. 100%. Hey, guys, and welcome to the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion mini sewed that felt like it took ages. How you doing, Kat? I mean, I'm good. I feel like this really is going to be a mini sewed. Like, it's, yeah, it's going to be a mini mini sewed. It was the bo- I was going to say the boringest, the most boring reunion. In fact, I'm just done with the show. I'm out. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why it was three parts when really only one thing happened in the entire freaking 20 episode season. I don't, I don't like three part reunions. No, they're stupid. Bravo, they're pointless. They need to stop. They need to stop. It's too much. And it's too long. Like you can edit this shit better. And there was, especially this, yeah. it was just on and on and on. There was nothing new, nothing new. Nobody has come to any sort of realizations about their behaviors or their friendships. Nobody's learned anything. Th- this reunion could have been one episode if if we even wanted to have a reunion. Yeah, there's no growth. There's no, you know, at, at this point, I am questioning the validity of having a reunion at all for this lot because yeah, the show itself was dull. And I just yes. wonder if it's some sort of contractual thing. I don't know. I just can't understand why we see... Dallas being two show reunions. We see New Jersey being two yeah. show reunions. And all right, they were they were shorter seasons slightly, but but that's it just fine. Doesn't need to be. We don't need three fucking hours of these we don't women need... shouting at each other. No, we don't need three hours on top of like a twenty episode season as well. I mean, this season was. 10 episodes too long in my opinion and then we don't need three episodes to rehash one fucking storyline no and I think as well that's the thing like in terms of the people that we've got on this um on the couches at this point I feel like Kenya her shtick is old yep I'm bored of it I'm bored of it I think she she can't just I'm bored of these characters that just rely on controversy yeah. to get them through and and I think she just does that I don't think there's anything genuine about her at all I think the line between who Kenya really is in real life and the Kenya of the tv show has long since been blurred oh yeah and I'm just not here to watch these women just come at each other and set fucking the sisterhood back by 50 fucking years for sure. I mean, for Kenya to try to justify all the slut shaming she has done for a fucking bachelorette party, be- she, her justification was that they were on a work trip. That's why she brought it up. And I think that's bullshit. It's not like you're a I mean, and you're meant w- to be doing actual work. Like, I mean, but on. if it wasn't Kenya, I'd be like, you know what? Maybe. But, right. You're on you're on a work trip and that shit went down. Cameras are still on. You've covered them up. But OK, if it wasn't Kenya. But I think she's just fucking lucky that she's got that excuse to play on because that's not that wasn't what she she's it's not like doing this for the good of the show. Anyway. It's a weak she, ass excuse. No, she just wants to make people feel better. And I, I here's what I think happened. I think Tanya shagged him. Yeah. I think Tanya shagged him. She's then gone home, had to deal with her shit. Hence, we've never seen her again. Yeah. Because she's told him because she doesn't know how this is going to look on the camera. So she's gone home. She's told him and that's it. She's not on the show anymore. And I think Portia knows that. And I think Portia isn't going to throw Tanya under the bus. No, because she's a real friend. But she's also not going to say she slept with him. No. So I think she's just going to continue. She's going to be the shield. And for that, I respect Portia. Also, who... Fucking cares. It is well, a bachelorette I mean, if ta- party. If Tanya no, no, no. Him, then oh. Yeah, fair enough. No, what I mean, I'm like talking about like Kenya. Who cares? It's a bachelorette party for your friend. Everybody else had a good time. I feel like everybody was like, we're going to cover the cameras so we can all just cut loose and be real people. Yeah, they were very clear about that. They asked production to yes. leave. Yeah. But also... Why is Portia, why is Kenya so mad 
that Portia did sleep with him. I mean, I don't think she she's did, a jealous actually, ass bitch. Because I honestly think Portia would own it if she yeah. did. I think she would own it. Fair. But I that's think that's a really good point. I didn't think about that, but she absolutely would because she was. I single, think she would so be like, matter. Who wouldn't shag Bolo? Right. Like, I. So I think that she's. I, you know, I, and I don't understand why Portia can't sleep with Bolo. She can't. She doesn't have to tell you. And no. she doesn't have to tell you, Kenya. No, nobody does. She doesn't have to explain You're herself to mom. you. You're not their mom. You're a dick. We've talked about this before. It would be a crying yeah. shame if nobody slept with Bolo that For night. For sure. I hope crying somebody shame. did. I, hope I do too. Did. I, I mean, do I, hope... I hope it didn't like cause too much problems in the relationship if what exactly. you're saying you think is true did happen. Um, that would be a shame. But um, I don't know. I don't I don't like it. It's just messy and gross and not cool for friends to even acquaintances to do to acquaintances. I sure as hell don't like fucking Marlo inserting her bullshit into all of this. Like, what the oh, fuck? No. Marlo's jealous. Marlo's jealous because she was friends with Portia and then Portia didn't trust her when she became friends with Kenya. Now, I don't think Portia was like, you? you're dead to me. But I think <laughs> Portia took a step back. Yeah. And Marlo didn't like it. And, yeah. you know, I, while I think Marlo should be able to be friends with whoever, I do think Kenya is a, a, a really nasty, malicious person. And I think it would be risky for Portia to trust anybody in Kenya's circle. And fucking Marlo knows this, though. Like, Marlo has had a massive falling out with Kenya. They were friends ages ago. I think it's just fucking contrived bullshit. Like, you just want to make yourself relevant. And I'm not here for that. I want to see real interactions or at least semi-directed, maybe, situational setups. We'll we'll, we'll call it that. Situational setups. That's Yes. Bro. But I don't want to see fucking stupid bullshit that is very contrived and fucking tired, to be frank. I think it's really clear that Marlo's thirsty in a lot of yeah. ways. Like, I don't think you wear a dress like that unless you, <laughs> unless you want to be noted. Do you know what I mean? No, like, that's I'm not for here. the wallflower. I'm here she for looked it, amazing. Babe. Wear whatever yeah. the fuck you like. But you didn't do that to blend into the background. No, no. So, you know, like... I think my benefit of the doubt always goes to Portia because she has yeah. shown time and time again that she's leg- legit a good person. Like she even stands up for Kenya when yeah. Latoya's spilling her business about the divorce. You know, I think Kenya's, I think Portia's very clear on her moral compass. And that's something that apart from Candy, I don't think anybody else in that, in that group has. No, and Portia's had to grow into that as well because, I mean, just a couple years ago, she was saying all that bullshit about Candy. Like, that was not yeah. fucking true and not cool. But I yeah. also feel like if Candy and Portia can work that shit out, all of this other stuff is irrelevant crap. But in this group, I think only Candy and Portia could right. work that shit Fair. out because they're, they're the two yeah. grown-up, most emotionally mature people there. Everybody else is just, apart from Cynthia, who would probably be fine, but boring. she's just a bit... It's a fucking beige cardigan. Do you know what I mean? She like, totally is. I mean, she's lovely, but like, nothing interesting about her. No, I'd all. go to her wine cellar and drink wine with her, but like, she wouldn't be like the one I'd go out on a lash with, if that makes sense. No, it'd be Portia every damn time. Yes, and candy. Yes, I think that would be a great night out. And it, <laughs> and it kind of saddens me that those two are still a little yeah. bit on the out. Very. Yeah. Yeah. Interestingly, I really went off Drew. Yep. I 100% agree with you on that one. I don't think she did well at the reunion. No, I think she came across as petty and childish and yeah. bitchy. For sure. And I mean, actually, who the fuck cares about Toya and the Preacher? Who the fuck cares? I don't. Actually... Toya came I, I Toya came off better. Like I left the reunion liking Toya more. And I it was like a weird shift for me. Yeah. Like Drew went down and Toya came up and they sort of met in the middle. So it's not like I'm in a Toya fan by any chance. I'm not. Right, right. But honestly, if you said to me, who do you want back next season right now? I'd be like, I'd choose Latoya over Drew. Yeah. I I really feel this franchise needs to either just stop. Or have a yeah. full full recast. And I mean, 
it's a shame because I do want to see more of like Portia's journey and Candy. They're kind of the only two that I would want on there. I think everybody well, else. Well, I think that's feasible. On. Yeah. I think you could literally ditch everybody else. You could keep Portia and Candy. And I like really... Shemaya. Portia's friend Shemaya. I, yeah, I, I like do. her. I'd like to see more of her. I mean, selfishly, I'd really like to see them next season try to like incorporate Simon. Portia's now like fiance. Did you see Who's any Simon? of this? Simon. <gasps> So Fallon had a husband named Simon on this season. They have gotten a divorce and Simon has proposed to Portia in real life. I, I can't believe you don't know Shut that. Shut the front door. Yes. And apparently Shemaya set them up. Who's Simon? Simon is Fallon's ex-husband. Portia. No, but like, who is he? What does he do? He's just like a businessman in Atlanta. Portia. I mean, I mean, he's got very, good. He's got dollar. Well yeah. Very well off. Because I feel like Fallon now there's pregnancy wife. speculation. Well, because this was all very fast, it was like I mean, I don't even think Simon is actually divorced from Fallon yet. Like it's just like in the courts right now. And then there's then Portia p- posts a picture of her wearing an engagement ring, hugging Simon with Dennis right next to him on Mother's Day. So people think that like she's had to put it out there that they are engaged because she's gotten pregnant. And that maybe it was that. 56. How was Portia? 39. Okay. Yeah. And Fallon. Why did him and Fallon get divorced? Do we know? Don't know. But one would speculate there was a possible infidelity situation going on. I would anyways. I see. I'm so fucking naive it didn't even cross my mind that she would have been doing this before they divorced so you think there's a potential that Portia and Simon have been having an affair and that's why him and Fallon have divorced because that would explain a very quick engagement if the relationship's actually been going on longer especially if there's a pregnancy involved oh Portia see this is the thing this is the smart sassy clever girls they're never we're never all perfect right no we all have a flaw Portia's (laughs) flaw is men for sure and for getting pregnant sure. with the wrong ones <laughs> yeah oh yeah. good lordy 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 oh i well, can't believe we haven't talked about this i'm kind of glad it was done on air it makes this reunion chat a lot more interesting i mean i'm looking at pictures and like I, he yeah he's cute he's very much her type Yes, but there's also speculations that there's a lot of side chicks. Like this other chick posted a picture in his car, like right after the engagement thing. So here's the knows? thing, and I'm just gonna say it. Listen, he is definitely punching above his weight with Fallon. He's punching above his weight with Portia. That's very normal for very very wealthy men. We get that. Sure. The problem is there's always a younger, better looking version out there trying to meet a rich man. And if this guy, who isn't bad looking, but he's also no fucking oil painting. Agreed. Like, he's not gone through life, like, with women throwing themselves at him. No. no, he has until not. Until he became rich. Yes. That's a temptation that a lot of men who spent their younger years before they were rich not getting the attention. And now they're very wealthy and all these women are throwing them. It's a very hard temptation to avoid. And Absolutely. I honestly think, this is my theory in life, if you want to marry for money... Fine, but don't marry an ugly man for money. He's got to be good looking and rich. Yeah. Because because then he he's not look he doesn't need the attention. Right, he's had right. All he's his happy life. with his attention just from he's you. He's had yeah, that fair. girl attention all his life, but whether or not he had money. But if you marry an ugly man, or ugly is very harsh. I'm really sorry. I was just trying to make a point. But like right, if you right. marry an average, yeah. you've got to be careful. What about Prince Charles? Because he has been rich and not very attractive his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, there's, a, there's only a certain amount of attraction that money can fucking buy. Yeah, I would not go there. No, I wouldn't. Ever. I mean, I, I wouldn't even... Yeah, I would have. I probably... If I was marrying for money, I probably would have done Prince William. But I would have preferred Harry. For sure. But neither of them really float my... No vagina or boat no i don't think i would go i think if i was gonna marry for money i would not go royalty route no, i'd go you that. no you'd go like tech business. billionaire or business billionaire route. Entertainment. not 
I feel like the, yeah. the stuff you have to deal with in royalty is not worth the money. Not worth the money at all. Well, like, I mean, it is endless money. I mean, it's more money than you would ever. Like, we're not talking, like, we're talking endless Yeah, money. but there's all these rules around it. Like, you can't yeah. fucking be crazy and extravagant. Like, no, you're right. But what I'm saying is that, like, that's not a surprise. You can make an educated decision. You can be like, yeah. you know what? Like, Kate's done. Middleton. Like, I'm here for the rules. I'm fine. This is right, right up my strata. I'm okay with this. He's all right looking. Yeah. And, you know, this is the life I chose. Fair. Fine. You can't like marry into royalty and then go well I didn't go. like and I love Meghan Markle I'm here for Meghan Markle but I I, I, think, I think this is where we're gonna disagree I don't think Meghan knew the full extent I feel like America like anybody who is not British doesn't really understand the full extent to be really frank with you I wouldn't even after Princess Diana yeah I still wouldn't I would not understand the full extent of the control over your life that they actually have i I wouldn't this no, is all I, I can really eye opening for that. me to be honest yeah. um no I can appreciate point. that yeah 100%. so i I think she did not understand the full extent of the control. I think she still thought they could be kind of their own people Agreed. as long as they were doing what they were supposed to be doing, and I don't think that's allowed. No, and I, and I think you're right. I, do I think maybe she could, could have done more due diligence on what this meant? Maybe. Who knows? Would anybody have told her? Maybe she did and people didn't tell her because they right. knew she wouldn't. Who the fuck Who knows? knows? Yeah. This isn't that podcast, but I mean, no. this is actually more interesting we've already done chat it. than yeah. Real Housewives. We did an Atlanta. episode on this on Patreon. Um, so if you'd like to hop on over there, you can hear it all over there. We did. But por- back to Portia yes. and what's his chops? Simon. This doesn't, I think Portia needs an equal and by that yeah. I mean she needs a man that's her own age with his own wealth that's got his own thing going on it's a shame because I always looking for her Dennis. daddy I kind of thought it was Dennis now he is a little bit older than her but he's not as old as Simon but he's also a buffoon for sure he needs like she, she needs, needs somebody smart. smart yeah she does yeah. and who thought we'd be saying that a few seasons yeah. ago Oh God! Like, or even the first season when she was like married to that buffoon Cordell. I know this is the thing. She makes terrible, terrible choices. Really terrible choices. But yeah. So who, who? So we're both in agreement. We could kind of see everybody go, other than Portia and Candy. Hundred percent. I mean, maybe they'll bring Fallon back, and that'll be a whole thing. Next Do you know season. what? I would like Fallon to be in this show. Also, just a quick note on Ralph, yeah. the only husband that turned up. Yeah. I have quite a lot of respect for him in this. And I actually believe, like, I believe him. Do I think he has, here's the thing, whether I believe him or not, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because I think it's unreasonable for us to just assume that because he went away by himself that he was definitely out there shagging. Right. Maybe he, like,
please subscribe, rate, and review TV My Husband Hates wherever you listen to your podcasts. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at TV My Husband Hates and join the Facebook group to keep the conversation going when the podcast ends. If Twitter's your thing, you'll find us at TV Husbands Hate. The music and production for TV My Husband Hates by Jimmy Sims.